Right, so hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to fix Warzone 2.0 um, crashing and not launching errors. So this can be done for most of the errors that you're getting for Warzone. So let's get straight into it, shall we? So what you're going to do first is um, you're going to click on your start button and type in run. Okay. It can be also done by uh, holding the Windows key and R. And here you're going to type in prefetch. Okay, click on continue. And here you have all the temporary files on your PC. Control A, hold Control A to um, select all of the files and delete it. Okay, this will delete all the files. There are some files that you can't delete, you're just going to skip that files. Okay, so once you delete it there, you're going to open run again. And this time you're going to type in percentage temp capital percentage. Click on OK. And these are all the temporary files as well. Control A again to select all and delete. Continue. Uh, there are some files just keep them and yeah okay so once you've cleared both of the files next we are going to uh, open this folder which is linked down in the description below so you can download this file open it up you have three files here so first is the DirectX installer so you're gonna open that and install that first so this will install DirectX or if not, it will update it. Okay, make sure you uncheck that. Click on next. Okay, guys. So uh, once you run that, you'll uh, it will download some components. If it doesn't, that means you have the uh, DirectX up to date. You can just move on. Click on finish. Go back into that folder, and then we're going to go into the DirectX properties. Okay, and you're going to open this. Click on yes to administrator access, and here. You're going to click on edit list, click on the three dots and navigate to um, your Blizzard application. Right here, battlenet.exe. Okay, open that. So you can see the path here, program files x86 battlenet, battlenet.exe. Okay, and then you're going to click on add and then it, once it's added, you can click on OK. Okay, then here you're going to check on corruption, error, warning, message, and info. Make sure it's all checked. And at the bottom here, you're going to click on force, warp, disable feature level upgrade. Okay, so make sure all of this is done and click on apply and OK. So once that is done, you're going to go back into the folder and you can see the last one says CMD commands. And here you'll have three commands. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the start button and open CMD. Type in CMD, right click on it and click on run as administrator. Click on yes and this will open CMD. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the first command right here. Copy, control V and click on enter. Okay, copy the second one, control V, enter. And copy the third one, Control C, Control V, Enter. You can see the operation is completed successfully, and now reboot is required. So close all of this out, restart your computer, and now if you launch Warzone, it should work fine, no issues at all. So that's it for this video, guys. Do support by giving this video a like, sharing it, and subscribing to the channel. That's all from me. Thanks for watching folks.